and welcome back to the channel. Uh, my clutch disc is uh, still in the workshop where they change these uh, metal ceramic pads. So we need to work with uh, something else uh, and I think why not to work with uh, this uh, drive-by-wire setup. Uh, I had idea to use uh, Audi A4 pedal and make a custom bracket for it. There is some uh, billet adapter for sale. It's plug and play then. It uh, costs about uh, 350 euros. And there is uh, some uh, other adapters also. I don't know how much they pay. But uh, there is also plug and play version. Uh, it's from uh, P4 1.9 diesel. 1C I think was engine code. But uh, it's uh, really hard to get one because they are really rare. I made a long shot to posting a topic in one local B4 group that I buy diesel pedals and after 20 minutes one guy did offer me one with 30 euros with shipping. I did buy it and it was here next day. So yeah, really lucky. We need to change their potentiometer. I will show you. And yeah, so today we work with this uh, drive-by-wire pedal. So here we have a 1.9 diesel B4 pedal box with a drive-by-wire uh, gas pedal. Like you see here is potentiometer and this is the pedal system. It works like this. Here you can regulate this uh, gas pedal but uh, you can't use uh, 1.9 diesel uh, potentiometer you need to use uh, one from uh, petrol engine and I did buy it from uh, Audi A8 T2 4.2 petrol engine also 3.7 petrol engine have the same so yeah we will change it so why I need a drive-by-wire pedal anyway so I need drive-by-wire because uh, these uh, VR6 engines have uh, e-throttle from factory uh, you can change it to cable one if you want uh, with uh, e-throttle you can have a lot cool features with uh, standalone issue and uh, I think the cable one is not so popular anymore so yeah that's why I keep this uh, e-throttle and uh, install drive-by-wire pedals and yeah so let's uh, change this uh, potentiometer and then let's install it into the car yeah because it's uh, really bad to change it in car, I think. We have here this uh, new clutch master cylinder also, what we installed before uh, pedal install back to the car. So here, 
that's it install this fish also it's also easy it goes under these uh, two bolts but first we need to take this mounting Now it's ready to install in the car. All looks good and ready to install. Pedals are installed. They are right now with two bolts only because uh, I need to find a new brake booster, uh, what uh, looks better than mine. So, yeah, then we can install it. it with three bolts from uh, brake booster but now I have accelerator pedal and it uh, looks already better yeah so we can uh, delete one task from the board and we can delete this drive-by-wire pedal install yeah so hopefully next video we can work with this front view then we can install engine back into the car. Uh, front uh, axle is painted and uh, new alloy subframe bushes I did. Uh, if you want to see how I made these bushes, then check up the check my shorts what I made about it. It's uh, all for today. Uh, I hope you did enjoy this video. Uh, I really hope that this uh, clutch disc and uh, oil pump will arrive for next video. Then we can change the oil pump, install a clutch and uh, install the engine back in hopefully. But like always, uh, if you did like this video, hit that like button, comment what you think and subscribe. And see you in the next video. Bye!